As you know, the menstrual cup has to be folded before it is inserted into the vagina. Because of its material and shape, the cup is bound to open once you let it out. The moment it opens, it is said that you will hear a pop sound. But this does not always happen. This is one of the reasons why leaks can occur. I invite you to watch another of my videos where I talk about that specifically. To learn how to use our cup, it will be very useful to know what our body is like. For that, I will use this model of the female reproductive anatomy. You will see the vaginal canal, which is usually between 8 to 12 centimeters long. At one end you have the cervix, at the other the entrance to the vaginal canal. To make it clearer for you, I will replace the vaginal canal with this tube, which is 9 centimeters long, and it will be very useful for you to see the real dimensions. As I said, sometimes the pop sound is not heard. This happens when there is a fold in the cup, as shown in this image of the tube, which represents the vaginal canal. What do we do to solve the problem? Look for the tail of the cup, don't pull on it. Just use it as a guide to find the base of the cup. Turn the cup slowly. Check for any folds at the base of the cup. If you find a fold, pinch the base of the cup. This will cause the cup to open completely inside your vagina, as shown in the image. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you have any questions, feel free to contact me by leaving a comment below.